Hi viewers, welcome to my channel. This is Sridhar Reddy Yelpeddi, Assistant Professor of Physics from Government Degree College for Women, Nalgonda. Welcome to my channel, Sri Quantum Academy, Field of Physics at Glance. In my previous series of lectures, we are discussing about concepts related to magnetism. In that, we are discussing about Bayat Savatla applications. In continuation to previous lectures, today I am going to discuss with you a topic that how to find magnetic field strength on the axis of a circular coil with the help of Bayot Savatla. Before going to watch my video, please subscribe my channel if you are not yet done and press bell icon to get latest updates. Please share, watch, like, comment my videos. The outlook of the derivation is, our aim is to find the magnetic field strength on the axis of a circular coil with the help of Bayot Savatla. For this, we have to consider a coil with radius A on which I current is passing in anti-clockwise direction. On the axis of this coil, at a distance x, there is a point. At that point, we have to find out magnetic induction. For this, we have to apply Biot savart law. With the help of Biot savart law, we have to find out magnetic field due to a small line segment. After that, we have to integrate within the limits to get magnetic induction due to whole circular coil. See here, this is a circular coil. What I am doing, just I am rotating this circular coil. If I rotate this circular coil, now it looks like this. Okay. Now, actually this is a plane view. That means, the plane of this circular coil is parallel to the paper. If I rotate it, now you see how it changes. Now, what I am doing, I am observing this coil in rotated view by 90 degrees. That means, now the coil plane is perpendicular to the plane of paper. Okay, like this. Actually, this is the coil. Now, what I am doing, just I am rotating like this. This is the center, like this. The center of this coil is O and the radius of this coil is A. Let us suppose... I current is passing through this coil in anti-clockwise direction like this. Right? Now, from the center, at a distance x, there is a point P at which we have to find out magnetic induction. So, our aim is to determine the magnetic field strength at point P. Where is this point? At a distance x from the center of the coil like this. Now, for this, what I am doing? I have to apply Biot Savart law. To apply Biot Savart law, what I am doing? Consider a small line segment AB on the circular coil like this. The length of this AB is DL. The line segment DL is at a distance R from the point P. Right? Let us suppose the angle between axis of the coil and position vector r that means the angle between x and r is phi the magnetic field due to this small line segment at point p is given by db the direction of db is shown like this if i take two perpendicular axes like this since the angle between x and r is phi now the angle between these two also phi since db is making an angle phi with the axis so it can be resolved into two components one is db cos phi and db sin phi cos phi components is adjacent to the angle so y direction sin phi component is opposite to the angle that means x component in this way i can resolve into db cos phi and db sin phi components now if i apply Biot Savart law to this line segment DL, then using Biot Savart law, dB is equal to mu naught by 4 pi I DL sin theta by R square. What is theta? Theta is the angle between DL and position vector R. Here, the angle between DL and position vector R is 90 degrees. Why? See here, this is the coil like this. It is perpendicular to the plane of the paper. Now, where is point? Point is here. Where, where is R? This is R. So, 
this is dl and this is r so for this r dl is always perpendicular so the angle between r and dl is 90 degrees since theta becomes 90 then db is equal to mu naught by 4 pi i dl sin 90 by r square that implies db is equal to sin 90 means 1 then db is equal to mu naught by 4 pi i dl by r square this is equation number 1 this is the magnetic field due to small line segment ab right next if you see the diagram again if i consider a symmetric element which is exactly opposite to ab that is a prime b prime that is means downside the length of this a prime b prime is also same dl but here the direction of current is in opposite to the direction of ab see here in ab the direction is from left to right but in a prime b prime it is from right to left that means the direction of current is opposite in two segments now see here this is same symmetric line segment of same length which is at a same distance r from the point now the magnetic field produced due to a prime b prime is also again same db because length is same now since r is making an angle phi with the axis so similarly db again it can be resolved into two components sin phi and cos phi again cos phi is in the y direction and sin phi is in the x direction so if you observe carefully the cos phi component of ab is along positive y direction but cos phi component of a prime b prime is along negative y direction that means two equal components are along opposite directions so the resultant of these two will be zero right in this way if you consider any line segment on this coil every element will have a opposite symmetric element everywhere you will get cos phi sin phi components everywhere cos phi components are in opposite direction so all cos phi components will get cancelled each other so the resultant magnetic field due to cos phi components is zero right now see here sin phi components sin phi component of a b is along the positive y direction you see from the figure similarly sin phi components of a prime b prime is also along same x direction that means both are along the same direction so the resultant will be added up that means two element sin phi components will get added to get total magnetic field in this way if you consider any element on this circular coil all sin phi components are along the same direction so total magnetic field can be calculated by adding all these sin phi components that means total magnetic field b is equal to integral db sin phi what is integration it is something like addition addition of all sin phi components so b is equal to integral db sin phi see again i am explaining same figure again consider a circular coil with radius a and center o in which i current is passing in anti clockwise direction like this on the axis of this coil at a distance x there is a point p at which we have to find out magnetic induction for this we have to use biot savart law to apply biot savart law let us assume a small line segment dl is at a distance r from the point p let the angle between position vector r and axis x is phi the magnetic field due to small line segment ab is shown in figure with db in this direction since the angle between x and r is phi if i assume two perpendicular axis then the angle between y axis and db is phi since it is making an angle phi i can resolve into two components db cos phi and db sin phi using biot savart law the magnetic induction due to small element dl is given by db is equal to mu naught idl sin theta by 4 pi r square here theta is angle between dl and position vector r 
here the angle between dl and r is 90 degrees because position vector is perpendicular to the line segment hence theta becomes 90 if theta becomes 90 db is equal to mu naught idl sin 90 by 4 pi r square that implies db is equal to mu naught idl by 4 pi r square this is equation number one consider another element a prime b prime which is exactly opposite to the a b with same length dl as shown in figure this a prime b prime is also at same distance r from the point p and the position vector making same angle phi with the axis hence again the magnetic field db due to a prime b prime is resolved into two components db cos phi again db sin phi db cos phi again perpendicular to the axis of the coil db sin phi is along the axis of coil db cos phi component are exactly in opposite direction hence they get cancel each other the resultant magnetic induction due to these components is zero but db sin phi components of a prime ab and a prime b prime are along the same direction hence they are added in this way magnetic induction due to total coil can be written as b is equal to integral db sin phi that means adding of all db sin components of each and every element on the coil so b is equal to integral db sin phi that implies b is equal to integral db what is db from equation 1 mu naught idl by 4 pi r square into sin phi this is equation 3 from the figure find out sin phi sin phi is equal to opposite by hypotenuse what is opposite a by hypotenuse is r that means sin phi is equal to a by r but from same figure it is a right angle triangle hence r square can be written as a square plus x square that implies r is equal to under root a square plus x square right if you substitute r value in sin phi then sin phi is equal to a by under root a square plus x square if i substitute sin phi value in equation 3 then what i will get b is equal to integral mu naught idl by 4 pi r square what is r square r is under root x square plus a square r square means x square plus a square into sin phi what is sin phi a by under root x square plus a square if i simplify that equation b is equal to mu naught i a dl by 4 pi into x square plus a square power 3 by 2 put all constants outside of the integration then b is equal to mu naught i a by 4 pi x square plus a square power 3 by 2 into integration dl integration with respect to distance if i integrate dl i will get l l means total length of the coil what do you mean by length of the coil that is nothing but circumference of the coil so integration dl is equal to circumference of the coil that is given by 2 pi a radius is a so integration dl is equal to 2 pi a substitute this value in above equation then b is equal to mu naught i a by 4 pi x square plus a square power 3 by 2 into 2 pi a 2 pi 4 pi cancel them you will get 2 here now what you will get if you simplify that equation b is equal to mu naught i a into a a square by 2 into x square plus a square power 3 by 2 that implies b is equal to mu naught i a square by 2 into x square plus a square power 3 by 2 this is the magnetic induction on the axis of a coil at a distance x right this is the magnetic induction due to a coil which contains only one turn that means a single round let us suppose i have a coil with n turns that means there are n rounds in that coil then my magnetic induction formula b is equal to how many turns i have capital n turns that means b is equal to mu naught n i a square by 2 into x square plus a square power 3 by 2 that means if you have n turns then magnetic induction is n times of the magnetic induction due to single coil so if you increase the turns then magnetic induction increases that many times next 
there are two cases you can observe here let us suppose what happens if the point is lies at the center of the coil that means now let us suppose my point is exactly at the center now x becomes 0 if x becomes 0 from above equation then what i will get b is equal to mu naught n i a square by 2 into x means 0 plus a square power 3 by 2 that implies b is equal to mu naught n i a square by 2 a cube if you cancel a square a cube then what i will get b is equal to mu naught n i by 2 a this is magnetic induction at the center of the coil next case number two let us suppose if my point lies far away from the center that means x is far greater than radius of the coil that means x far greater than a if x far greater than a then you can neglect a in denominator that means in x square plus a square power 3 by 2 you can neglect a because x is far greater than a that implies b is equal to mu naught n i a square by 2 into x square plus 0 i can neglect a no so x square power 3 by 2 that means x cube that implies b is equal to mu naught n i a square by 2 x cube this is magnetic induction at a point very far away from the center on the axis if i do this derivation again see here mathematical derivation actually from bayard savatla db is equal to mu naught ideal sin theta by 4 pi r square here theta becomes 90 that's why db is equal to mu naught ideal by 4 pi r square db can be resolved into cos phi component sin phi component in that way all cos phi components get cancelled and all sin phi components get added up so total b is equal to integration db sin phi if you substitute db value from above equation db is equal to integration mu naught ideal by 4 pi r square into sin phi from figure find out sin phi that is a by r but what is r r is equal to under root x square plus a square if i substitute this one then sin phi is equal to a by under root x square plus a square if i substitute this value in above equation then db is equal to integration mu naught i dl by r square means x square plus a square into sin phi a by under root x square plus a square if i simplify this equation b is equal to integration mu naught i a square by 4 pi into x square plus a square power 3 by 2 into dl if i integrate this equation with respect to dl then what i will get integration dl that is given by circumference 2 pi a if i substitute this one b is equal to mu naught i a square by 4 pi x square plus a square power 3 by 2 into integration dl means 2 pi a if i cancel that one b is equal to mu naught i a square by 2 into x square plus a square power 3 by 2 this is the magnetic induction due to a coil on the axis at a distance x but this coil has only one turn that means only one circle let us suppose if there are n turns in that coil then my magnetic field is b is equal to mu naught n i a square by 2 into x square plus a square power 3 by 2 i will get two cases if you observe carefully then case number one magnetic induction at the center of the coil that means x is equal to 0 if i substitute x is equal to 0 b is equal to mu naught n i by 2 a case number two x far greater than a that means x greater than a I can neglect a in denominator that implies b is equal to mu naught n i a square by 2 x cube this is magnetic induction due to a circular coil thank you thank you very much please watch share like comment my videos thank you